In this video, I'm going to show you how to land a high pay tech job working in artificial intelligence. There's only one thing that stands between you and working in this exciting field. You've already seen that AI is the new gold rush. Things are heating up and AI is going to bulldoze its way across every industry. The best place to be right now is at the forefront of this once in a lifetime trend. And there's only one way to get there. So I know you're unhappy with your current job and you can sense that now is the time to upgrade your career. If you focus on this one simple thing, tech recruiters will be chasing you down with job offers. I guarantee it. But if you ignore it, you'll look back wondering what could have been if you would have just done this one thing. Check this out. AI engineers are making $150,000 per year. Data scientists, $130,000. Even the starting salary of a data analyst is impressive at $57,000 per year. These guys are working for some of the most exciting, innovative companies in tech right now because they chose to do this one thing. Before I explain it to you, let's just make sure we're on the same page about what AI really is. So when I say AI, I'm not talking about using ChatGPT at your job. This isn't about prompt engineering. We're talking about AI as a field within computer science. You and I are smart enough to know that when your wife says, I'm fine, she not fine. Well, I'm talking about the kind of AI that has the ability to understand that as well. This AI has the ability to think and make decisions, to understand language, to rationalize like you and I do. This AI is created using machine learning, which is a discipline that focuses on computers getting smarter without us having to give them explicit instructions. The next layer down is deep learning, which somewhat mimics how the human brain functions. This is a subset of machine learning that gave us ChatGPT. Now, where you wanna be is in data science, which is a field that covers all all three of these disciplines and more. So if that's correct, then let's talk about the one thing that you need because a career in AI is possible. There is a pathway for you, but you need to focus on doing this one thing. And I'm gonna give you a 10 month roadmap into data science to make sure that you get there. And I guarantee that that 10 month roadmap will work for you no matter whether you're already in a tech career or you're looking to transition into one. Here's the thing you gotta do. Stop making excuses. You see, anyone who's ever achieved anything in life got to a point where they decided that nothing was gonna stand in their way. And that tech company with that killer job in data science is waiting for you. Actually, no, 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 no. They need you to make the same decision in your own life. You see, there's a job shortage for qualified individuals to work within these roles. Don't listen to people talking about how they can't get an interview or the job market isn't great or they can't do it because it's a male-dominated industry or the one I hate the most, because I'm black? These are all ways you give yourself permission to not do hard things. And if you wanna work in AI, it's gonna be hard. You're gonna need a solid foundation in basic maths. You don't need to be an expert mathematician, but you do need a basic understanding of linear algebra and calculus. AI is built on top of concepts from linear algebra such as matrices and linear transformations. Concepts from statistics such as statistical significance, distribution, regression, and likelihood will help you interpret data and derive insights. You're gonna to learn to program in Python and R. You'll have to understand data structures that allow you to store, retrieve, and manipulate data. And of course, data manipulation, which involves cleaning and transforming data so that it can be analyzed or fed into AI models. More broadly, you'll need to learn data science, which blends tools, algorithms, and machine learning principles to discover patterns in raw data. For making predictions, you'll learn machine learning and deep learning for using neural networks. There are a lot of concepts there to master. Equally important are the tools and packages that you'll need to learn as well. If this scares you, then just click away now. But if you're excited and motivated by the challenge, then let's move on to the 10 month roadmap to help you break into AI and data science. But first, there's a crucial first step that will guarantee your success. So many people start out and set goals in life and come up short because they start out wrong. And this first step is so simple to accomplish that many people think it's actually not that important. And let's be clear, there's a difference between easy and simple. The easiest thing to do right now would be to do nothing but you wanna break into AI and data science. This simple step is the key action required for building momentum to break into AI and data science. Start telling people. Start telling people that you're gonna break into AI and data science. Don't keep it secret and don't ignore this step. Telling your friends and family puts you on the hook for following through. You can even start now by letting us know in the comments what your plans are for breaking into AI and data science. Because with this 10 month roadmap, you can learn data science and you can even get hired in data science. Stick around because later on, I'm gonna show you a four-step method to stand out and get noticed and get hired in an AI job. But first, let's look at the 10-month roadmap. In months one through three, you're gonna focus on the maths, 
learning programming, data structures, and manipulation. Studying algebra, calculus, statistics, and probability will give you a strong foundation to succeed with AI. Learn to program in Python and start learning about data manipulation and analysis. Learn how to clean and prepare data, which is fundamental for machine learning or artificial intelligence. In months four through six, things are gonna start to heat up as you dive into the basics of AI and the various branches of this science. You'll also go deeper into machine learning to learn about model types, model validation, and hyperparameter tuning. In months seven through nine, you're nearly there. You'll dive into neural networks and deep learning. You'll also learn machine learning ops, which is applying DevOps principles to machine learning systems. Finally, you'll get started in the interest area. This could be natural language processing, computer vision, reinforcement learning, or some other field. In month 10, you've reached the end of the roadmap, but your learning doesn't stop there. Depending on your particular path, you'll need to deepen your understanding, especially to land a job as an AI engineer, which I'll cover later in this video. To get these skills, you can start learning today. Head to DataCamp using the link in the description and check out some of their exciting training and certifications. Of course, you could choose to follow this 10 month roadmap at a different pace. That's completely up to you. Now that you've got the base level knowledge and skills, you're gonna to need to get job ready and finding a job is never straightforward. Just because you took the training and acquired the skills doesn't mean you're entitled to a job. You need to prove that you're a good hire. How do you prove that you're worth hiring? Well, you can use this four step method for building a killer portfolio for standing out and getting hired in an AI job. So. Finding a paid internship where you can get experience and direction from more senior experts should be your first option, but internships aren't always so easy to come by. So what should you do? Work for free. Yep, you heard me right. Do free work. Volunteer to create something for your local church. Reach out to a local business and tell them that you can use machine learning and data science to help them predict customer churn. Sell them on how you're able to predict customer demand. Get creative. You've just learned a whole new bag of tricks. Convince them to let you work on a project for free. The next step is to drive results. Take on a project that you're confident that you can complete and will create significant business value. This step is crucial. It's not just enough to work on a cool project. You need to show that you worked on a project that provided real life, tangible business value. Your next step should be obvious. Document the process. Create a website, a blog, publish what you did, show everyone how you created value for that business or that organization. And the last step, the most important step, is to get a customer testimonial. If you can, get something on video. It's much more powerful than a written testimonial. I guarantee you, if you get the CEO of even a small business to come on camera and talk about how your machine learning algorithm either saved them money, made them money, or prevented them from losing money, you will have changed the equation. You will stand out and you will be in demand. In parallel to building your portfolio, you need to be expanding your network. Connecting with the right people and showcasing your talents is the way that you land a job in AI. So you've put in the work, you landed a job in data science or AI. Now it's time to talk about advancing into the world of artificial intelligence engineering. This gig is the secret sauce behind all the AI magic. Picture this, you're the architect, the one who crafts the code that breathes life into AI, making it think and learn like a human brain. You'll blend together skills of software development, programming, data science, and data engineering. Now, AI engineering isn't exactly the same as data engineering where experts are building like data highways. AI engineers are like data detectives. You'll hunt down just the right data from various sources and that's just the beginning. Once you've got the data, it's time to get creative. You'll create and fine tune machine learning models. These models are the powerhouses that run AI applications. But here's a twist. You won't just be writing lines of code. You'll be making API calls, you'll be embedding code, and you'll be giving AI a real world presence. Remember, this isn't your typical nine to five coding job. You're shaping the future. AI engineering is where innovation takes flight and you're the pilot. If you're new to AI or just getting started in data science, you'll first want to advance your skills in software engineering and programming. You'll also need to advance your skills in data science and data engineering before you really dive into the world of AI engineering. If you've got some experience already, you should check out the learning resources from Microsoft on AI engineering. So as you can see, 
AI is a challenging and rewarding career choice. However, if you've decided that you want to move into tech, but AI isn't the right pathway for you, then you'll want to check out this next video.